Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to reliably focus on the stars at night with any lens. And if you're still wondering why would you want to point your camera at night at the sky because when it's so dark what the camera could possibly see, let me tell you, it can see a lot. So all of these images were taken by me and all you need is just an entry level DSLR and a kit lens, you don't need any specialized equipment. The main reason I created this video though is because the focusing part is a little bit tricky and I was struggling with this myself when I was starting to come with astrophotography. The solutions I was finding on the internet were either not very reliable or were only applicable to only a certain types of lenses and especially not to the lens that I got by that time. So I wanted to show you a method that works with any lens and I wanted to demystify any other solutions you might uh, find on the internet yourself. So let's look at some lenses, shall we? Okay, so right here we have uh, the kit lens that came with my current camera, which is the Canon 770. This lens is an 18 to 135 zoom lens from Canon with an ST and autofocusing motor. And this is my old kit lens, which is uh, it's, it's very old. It's an 18 to 55. And this is uh, this is an ultra wide angle lens EFS 10 to 22 millimeter that I recently bought. I didn't have this one when I was starting out with astrophotography. So I was trying to make it work with this lens and the solutions I was finding on the internet were for instance to uh, try to focus using autofocus on something with a distance at day and mark the position of the barrel or the focus ring on your lens and then use it as a guide at night. And as you can see with this lens, the focusing ring turns all the way in either direction, it doesn't have any stop, any boundary, there's no indicator on the lens itself that will tell me what's the distance to the plane of focus when the when the lens is focusing uh, and in fact this lens is focused by wire so only when the lens is attached to the camera turning the ring does something when the lens is detached i can turn it all the way and it doesn't actually change the focus of this lens so there's really no way to mark anything on this lens and use it as a guide at night so i grab this lens uh, as you can see it extends and stops when it focuses, so I tried to mark it with an electrical tape. This was not very reliable and it's just it's terrible, I would recommend this method. Another suggestion I found was to turn the focus ring all the way to infinity and then pull back just a little bit. And the little bit part is very confusing because okay, how much is a little bit? Is it one millimeter, two, three? And it basically implies that this method is an endless trial and error. And uh, Keep in mind that you, you will be doing this in the field at night when it's possibly cold and your exposures at night are pretty long, it's like 10 to 20 seconds maybe, so it's really time consuming to find the right focus with this method and it will only really work with this lens which is a USM motor and it has this indicator right here when I turn it it says theoretically what is the distance to the plane of focus. It also has an infinity marking here but uh, the infinity focus on the lens is not exactly when the marking is, it's always a little bit off, but how much is a little bit really depends on the on the actual copy of the lens. There is no way to tell. You just have to you just have to find the focus and then see oh yeah, it was like one millimeter to the left, and then you can remember this position. But you need to find the focus first manually with a different way. But let's take a step back actually for a minute and let me tell you why can't we actually use autofocus at night? Let me show you. Uh, let's take the lens on the camera. So normally you grab a camera, you turn it on, you point it, you have to press the shutter, hit a beep, sh 
shoot, and then you have a photo. But when it's dark, you point the camera, you have to press the shutter, and nothing happens. I can press the shutter all I want, and the camera won't let me take the picture, because it cannot lock into focus, and in autofocusing mode, the camera won't let me take a picture. So we need to focus manually. The more expensive camera you have, the better will it perform when it comes to autofocus and low light, but let's be honest, even if you have the most expensive camera, when it's pitch black outside and you point it at the sky, it won't be able to autofocus, so you gotta do it manually anyway. So, we have to focus manually, and I'm gonna show you a method which works with any lens, so let's try to make it work with this lens, which is the most tricky, which has no markings on the lens. So, let's head outside and let me show you how it's done. All right, so we are currently outside and as you can see, some clouds are approaching, so we better be quick. Um, so the key to this thing is uh, you don't look for the viewfinder because for the viewfinder, you're not gonna see anything. And you're gonna have to activate the live view feature. Uh, if you don't know how to activate the live view or it's the first time you hear about that, refer to your camera's manual. But basically you activate the live view then open up the aperture as wide as possible for this lens. We're using the kit 18 to 135, so it opens up to f stop 3.5 at 18 millimeter focal length. Of course, you're in manual mode, you're on a tripod, so you're gonna bump up the ISO as high as you can go in order to get the preview to be as bright as possible. And then you're gonna hit the loop button to magnify that preview. On Canon cameras, you can magnify it five times or ten times. So you magnify it ten times, you can see those white, three white spots on the right here. And these are our stars. I have already focused this, this lens, so you can see that they are pretty sharp. I'm gonna now defocus them, so you can see what happens. Okay, so now I'm completely out of focus, I cannot see anything. So the key here is... You open this preview and instead of making multiple exposures and assessing the exposures after the fact, you're gonna use the preview to assess your focus. So you turn this ring slightly, starts start to appear. If you turn it too much, they're gonna be blurry again. And the sharpest stars you're gonna get is when the diameter of the star on this preview is as small as possible. So right here looks pretty good. So let's back off our ISO to something more manageable, like 1600 for instance. And let's take a photo. Alright, so I have a little bit of light pollution actually here in where I am. But uh, let's zoom in. And if I zoom in on this image, you can see that the stars are tech sharp. And this is how you can find focus on stars at night when there is really very low visibility. All right, uh, one more thing I actually didn't mention before is that you might say that I got pretty lucky that I actually have seen those three stars on my 10 times magnification on the live view preview. But let me tell you what you can do if you don't see it right away. So uh, on my camera, this button activates the live view. This is the loop button I was talking about. So I hit it three times to get 10 times magnification on the live view preview and then if you don't see any stars on this preview you can use these arrow buttons over here to actually move around as you can see i'm not changing the position of the camera but i'm seeing different parts of my frame on that preview so if you don't see any stars right away if you magnify 10 times just move around a little bit and you should be able to find something so, that's basically it, and if you ask, okay, by, why did this image on the back of my camera look as spectacular as the images I showed you in the beginning of the video, it's uh, because the focusing part is really just one little piece of the puzzle. You need to be at the correct location, at the correct time, and there's this, this whole bunch of things that you need to do in order to come up with this final spectacular image. And if you'd like to learn how, if you'd like to see more videos like this from me, let me know down below in the comments. If you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye.